Main track muddy at kickoff. First of the day, all in. Away and running at the fairgrounds. Perfect perigee broke sharp. Louisiana Thunder in the green cap with speed to vie for it. And Custom Sierra dashes now from the rail for Emmanuel Nieves to take the lead. It's Custom Sierra who leads Louisiana Thunder. Perfect perigee broke sharp and lies just off them third. Then toward the inside, Brooke is golden is through into fourth. From on the outside, Brad Eye in fifth at the three and a half. A break of four more to next is stealing a priority as they move around the far turn. We trail back then to PT's Flash with wide barrel of bourbon and shackle gold trails. The state bred sprint here in the Thursday opener. The quarter muddy track in 22.53 seconds. They head for the quarter pole. And the sweep now by Perfect Perigee. Perfect Perigee is up to take a short lead from Custom Sierra close to the rail. Louisiana Thunder battles in between horses. Stealing a priority is fourth looking to close for outside Brad Eye. Brooke is golden PT's Flash. Shackle the gold and barrel of bourbon. They come past the 16th with Relu Gutierrez. It's Perfect Perigee, chased home by Stealing A Priority, who's closing fast on the line. Perfect Perigee and Stealing A Priority for Carlos Marquez Photo. Next across was Custom Sierra with PT's Flash also with a gaining ground bid. Photo, Stealing A Priority, hit it with the first favorite, Perfect Perigee. Near side by Here Comes Kyle, who's looking to make progress at the two and a half. And in between horses, Dino, it's curtains up. Curtains up from WW Can Do. Curtains up spins them in. A couple of furlongs to go. Curtains up leads here by a length and a half to nearest the inside. Here comes Kyle. Dino between horses. WW Can Do drifted stand side. The one being outpaced is Tale of a Storm. It's Curtains up who leads down toward the final 16th. Curtains up. Here comes Kyle for Emmanuel Nieves giving game chase. Dino's third. It's Curtains up and here comes Kyle. Here's the wire for Curtains up. Curtains up. With a neck to spare over hard charging, here comes Kyle. Dino third, WW can do, tell him a story. All set. And they're off. And senior Clarky hopped in the air at the start, did himself no favors, drifts back to a long booking last. All the way with Tay, broke sharp. Good speed from all shucks. The vibe for the front with the gray. All the way with Tay. And they're joined toward the inside by Crypto Zonic, who now scoots on through. Rafi's man in the black cap is lying close after the first furlong and a half. Then comes too much bourbon, a wide fifth, and some five lengths off these well-grouped leaders toward the inside. Runaway Sun is running second to last, and after hopping in the air at the start, Senor Clarky has dropped back to be seventh and last. The opening quarter, good track, 22.84 seconds, three furlongs from home. All the way with Tay continues to dispute it with all shucks. Aw shucks the rail all the way with Tay. They take this tussle to the top of the stretch. Cryptozonic third close. Too much bourbon unwinds on the far outside. Rafi's man in between horses as Cryptozonic is now pulled out. We trail back then too on the far outside. Runaway Sun and Senior Clarky is last. One furlong away. It's Aw shucks who leads against the rail from Cryptozonic trying to reel Aw shucks in. They come past the 16th. Jareth LaBerry, Aw shucks. James Graham and Cryptozonic. Aw shucks. Cryptozonic. Here it is. Cryptozonic on the wire. Cryptozonic grabbed Aw shucks for a photo win. Rafi's band finished third. Off they go over the mile, and there's Carson's Princess, Soraya Soraya with the red and white blocks, just heads off Carson's Princess in the blue silks, who's now in second for Pedro Cato Jr., and into the hands of Aubrey Green, Perfect Diva, yellow with the white star, has dropped back to last as the trio fillies go to the back of this fairgrounds track. It's Soraya Soraya, three quarters of length. Carson's Princess stays close to Soraya Soraya, Length and a half away then to Perfect Diva, who's last to the three. Soraya Soraya from Carson's Princess and Perfect Diva. The first two of eight furlongs for Soraya Soraya in 24.92 seconds. James Graham, Soraya Soraya, the three-time winner, continues to lead Carson's Princess, who's still right there for Pedro Cato Jr. And with Aubrey Green, Perfect Diva, the Illinois-bred filly, looks to make inroads on the lead toward the inside. Inside a half mile to run. And for the three of them, half mile up in 48.98. Soraya Soraya, Carson's Princess, Perfect Diva, turn again. Soraya Soraya continues out in front. Soraya Soraya, still three quarters length. Carson's Princess now being asked to pick up. 
It's Soraya Soraya who leads to this final quarter of a mile and pulled wide by Aubrey Green. Perfect Diva now looks to unwind around Carson's Princess. Soraya Soraya, Carson's Princess, and Perfect Diva as they swing for the short stretch. Three quarters for Soraya Soraya looking to finish them off. One minute 13. Point 96 seconds. Soraya Soraya gets those left-handers from James. Soraya Soraya, a 16th out. Still just holds Carson's Princess. Perfect Diva will be last to the three. Soraya Soraya, wire, two first wire. Held Carson's Princess throughout the mile, and Perfect Diva was last to the three. And they're off. There's a rival day who races right out toward the front for Adam Eskitsa. A rival day gets the jump. Fired up Tiger, quick to engage from the rail. Higher note broke sharp and is right there between fillies. Dial 10 for G. Moves through toward the inside. And the white cap now running into third. With higher note in fourth after the first furlong and a half. Dallas Volunteer in traffic there in fifth as Peekaboo uh, took back off of heels. Zenchua Sky ranges up three wide, while Pinkaboo trails the maiden three-year-old Philly sprint, the opening quarter in 22.18 seconds. Now for Brian Hernandez, Jr. It's the Alabama Red, fired up Tiger, who leads with an inside three for longs to go from sharp starting arrival day. Dial 10 for G, right there in the pocket there for Deshaun Parker as these Phillies come toward the quarter pole. While for Colby Hernandez, the newcomer Dallas Volunteer, Unwinds on the far outside. Higher note straightened away in fifth from Zenchua Sky. And Pinkaboo is last. Half mile 45.98 seconds. Fired up Tiger. Dallas Volunteer bears down on Fired Up Tiger for the Hernandez brothers. It's Colby and Dallas Volunteer. BJ and Fired Up Tiger the rail. Here's Dallas Volunteer, the mastery filly who just gains the advantage for Colby Hernandez. Dallas Volunteer debuts on top. Fired Up Tiger was second, a gap away, dial 10 for G from a rival day higher note. Zenchua Sky and Pinkaboo was last to pull up. And they're off. Big Scully broke sharp. Speed from Real City Speed nearest the inside. There's Custom Bobbies with an early bid for Emmanuel Nieves as they charge into the clubhouse turd. It's Custom Bobbies who takes the point from on the outside, Real City Speed, who's just gained second from Big Scully, who has the red cap against the rail. With six furlongs to go from the first line finish, then touchdown Joe settled in fourth, three quarters length to Lori's Wish in fifth. Then it's Deer Crossing in sixth. Your time's coming as a rated seventh. And Crompton trails after the mile start. The opening quarter in 23.67 seconds as they go up the back stretch. It's Custom Bobbies who generates the pace. Custom Bobby is out in front, leads by a couple of lengths to Real City Speed, who's just in second for Aubrey Green, while Brian Hernandez Jr. has Big Scully right there against the rail. Touchdown Joe is in behind horses fourth, with on the outside Lori's Wish in fifth. Deer Crossing is sixth. Yours time's coming in the black cap. Crompton remains last. The half mile for the front runner, Custom Bobbies, in 47.56 seconds. Around the far turn, Custom Bobbies leads Big Scully by three as they come into this final quarter of a mile. Touchdown Joe. Dropping back was Real City Speed. Passed out wide by Your Time's Coming. Lori's Wish. Deer crossing far outside. Crompton with a rail bid. Custom Bobbies swings for the short stretch first. Three quarters, one minute 12.87 seconds. It's Custom Bobbies near the rail. For a battling Big Scully and charging. Here's Touchdown Joe, who's rattling home for Colby Hernandez. They're close to home. It's Touchdown Joe. Big Scully up to the forefront from Custom Bobbies. Touchdown Joe. Touchdown Joe to win it from Big Scully. Custom Bobbies and your time's coming. Finish fourth. They're in the gate. They're off and sprinting, and Henderson broke sharp. Baltic Fleet flashing speed, and there's Excellency, and the newcomer, Courthouse Cove, now makes a bold move to split horses for Emmanuel Nieves to just lead Excellency tight at the rail. With Whiskey Gen third and closing, Henderson broke sharp, now in fourth, as they head toward the half-mile pole. Then toward the inside is Chopped with out wide Baltic Fleet, Royal Blue and Red Halves, and Snow Candy looks to make a bid in between horses. The quarter was 22.40 seconds at the three and a half. It's Courthouse Cove out in front as Whiskey Gent now has taken second as they round the far turn. Excellency is running third by a length and a half with Baltic Fleet a wide fourth. Chopped fifth against the rail and some five lengths off these leaders. As they come toward the top of the stretch, Snow Candy end. Henderson relegated to last as these made 
Wade and three-year-olds turn the half mile as they come into this final quarter of a mile, 46.67 seconds. It's the great Courthouse Cove. Courthouse Cove holds on to this lead from Excellency, who's charging hard. Whiskey Gent battles in between horses. Baltic Fleet is fourth. Snow Candy fifth. Chopped is sixth. They come past the 16th. Here's Excellency up to the front. Short lead from Courthouse Cove. It's Excellency for Relu Gutierrez. Excellency gets the result from Courthouse Cove. Second game lead went on debut. Whiskey Gem third and Baltic Fleet finished fourth. At one mile, 70 yards. They're in the gate. And they're off. Now there's Memphis Cash Queen who strikes out. Very dandy showing good speed. Freudian settles with the rail. Right there on the outside is CeCe's Cowgirl and also close up is She's Custom Made and the three path as they round the clubhouse turn seven for longs to run. For Jose Riquelme, it's Memphis Cash Queen who leads as these maiden three-year-old fillies go to the back of the track, track by Verdandi. Freudian's third and settles now three quarters length then two. She's Custom Made in fourth. Length and a half to dress to impress saving ground. Outside that is CeCe's Cowgirl. While Twin Cause has dropped back to seventh and last, the opening quarter in 24.24 seconds, it's Memphis Cash Queen. So the classic empire, Philly, leads them to a half mile from home. Memphis Cash Queen leads by two to Verdendi. Forty in against the rail, running third by three. And then comes... She's Custom Aid, who remains in fourth, inside four furlongs to run. After She's Custom Aid, against the rail, dressed to impress. Three, three, uh, on the outside, CeCe's Cowgirl, second to last, and the trailer remains Twin Cause. Half mile for the front runner, Memphis Cash Queen, 48.22 at the two and a half. Memphis Cash Queen, right there is Freudian, who's poised now. Freudian starts a bid for Aubrey Green, and uh, on the outside is Verdandi, and farther out, She's Custom Aid unwinds. Three quarters in one minute 13. 0.83 seconds at the inside. It's Memphis Cash Queen holding on to this lead from Freudian, who tries to slowly reel in Memphis Cash Queen, who's finding for Jose Raquelme. Gets those left-handers, and Memphis Cash Queen responded in kind and has pulled clear from Freudian with 20 yards to go. Memphis Cash Queen on top. Kept Freudian at bay. Twin cause third, and she's custom-made finish fourth. Okay, last of the day. All in. And they're off. And there's Don't Cross El Jefe who comes charging out on the lead. Don't Cross El Jefe with in between horses running in the money and on the outside. Renati's on the speed. Bosti Blue has the white cap. So it's running in the money who's taking the lead for Angel Suarez, tracked by Renati. Fast starting Don't Cross El Jefe is just in third from Bosti Blue in fourth. Autumn Supersede is a wide fifth as they head toward the far turn. Big Boo looks to gain toward the inside, but just held up there. Eddie's Humor is next at the three and a half, followed toward the inside by It's Wild Again, who's running second to last as they round the far turn with inside three furlongs to go and beaten for pace. That one guitar trails the maiden in the Thursday finale. The quarter was 22.06 seconds coming toward the quarter pole. We're running in the money, spins them in. It's running in the money. Don't cross El Jefe has the white blinkers against the rail. Half mile in 45.99 seconds. Running in the money, holding on to this lead. Charging his basty blue. Don't cross El Jefe. It's wild again with interest toward the inside. On the outside, here comes Eddie Schumer charging hard. Big Boo is deeper out. They come past the 16th. On debut, it's running in the money close to home from Eddie's Humor. Running in the money debut win from Eddie's Humor. Third photo, third on the bob. Busty Blue with its wild again the rail.